Welcome back to Olympus Critics. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you leave a like for the algorithm that does help the channel grow. These are my quick thoughts of Justice League War World. Now, the good things I'll say about this film is the animation. The animation looks fantastic. I really do like this Marvel first animation. I really thought we should have got these type, this type of animation in the last DC animated um, universe that we was in. But this is this is knocking it out of park with the animation style that they're using. And I did like the beginning of this movie with Wonder Woman in the in the uh, in a western with Jonah Hex. I do think Jonah Hex, they could have they could have gave him a little bit more of a fighting chance against Wonder Woman, not as hand to hand, but as a gunslinger. But that didn't really happen. But it, it's all good because she is a godlike being. I didn't really think he he stood he could go toe to toe with her hand to hand combat. But it would have been a little bit. It would have been nice to see him put up a better fight but the bad i gotta talk about the bad i didn't too much i didn't like the batman storyline I mean, where he was or the superman it just didn't feel like war world that i'm used to what we got in the animated justice league animated series when we saw superman and martian manhunter on war world fighting mongrel i'm gonna get the mongrel in a minute it just it just didn't feel like it. it just felt like that old justice league short that we saw on cartoon network justice league action we just didn't get enough time in this on this world and i didn't i didn't like that they was putting them in different universes and stuff like that splitting them like that instead of just you know how we got in the justice league animated series where we see superman go toe to toe with some with some other monsters or beings I, that's what I thought we was going to get when I heard that this movie was coming out. Batman probably going toe to toe with somebody. When Wonder Woman, even though she went against Jonah Hex, it wasn't really a fight. I I was really confused what this was, what was going on in this movie. This didn't, it just didn't feel like War World. So it just, it just felt like this movie was rushed. It feels like this universe is rushed, in my opinion. We didn't get to see the, the the form of the Justice League. I know a lot of people say we've seen this so many times, but hey, it would have been nice to just see each one of these heroes get their own movies. If this feels like, you know, the real life stuff that we saw with the live action, they were they're rushing. It just feels rushed. Um, I, I I I really don't understand why they're doing that, rushing everything. I just don't feel for these characters, especially when they got back in contact with John Jones and towards the movie it seems like spoiler alert that he sacrificed himself we just I just don't feel anything for this character because we just haven't really gotten any time with him him or Wonder Woman we didn't get time with her as well this version that is we did see a different version in that um, flash movie World War two which was a fantastic movie in my opinion but we just doesn't we don't have a connection with these characters it just feels so rushed even this superman we only seen him in one movie of course he was in the legend of superhero which i have not seen that movie i have to check it out i just don't have any connection with these characters maybe the batman i do because we got two movies with him with the long halloween which sits at, sits at the top in this universe and i would say beware the uh the, the green lantern movie beware my power um whatever it was called i enjoyed that movie of course the flash movie but this will probably be at the bottom if, in my opinion i did not i did not enjoy some of this movie but yeah i just didn't have a feel for some of these characters not 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 this superman not this wonder woman definitely not this martian man now let's get the mongrel I, I, when i initially saw him i thought it was brainiac this design that they went with mongrel i literally thought this was brainiac I mean, he, he, he talked, speech pattern was like Brainiac, he walked like Brainiac, he looked like Brainiac. You can't tell me y'all didn't think that was Brainiac. Can't tell me. He looked just like Brainiac. Even though we saw the version of Brainiac in that Flash movie on um, World War II, this just, I don't know who, who, who made up this design. That was the weakest version of Mongrel I've ever seen. By far, the weakest version. We didn't get to see him go toe to toe with Superman like we used to seeing in different animation styles. Him and Superman go toe to toe. We didn't see this in this film. This looked just like Brainiac, and it was god off. It was terrible. And we got the we got towards the end of this movie. I mean, I guess we're heading into Crisis on Infinite Earths. 
this this whole universe just feels like it's being rushed in my opinion it's just it feels like it's being rushed i know i'm not the only person that feels this way with this universe they got a great animation style just take your time with these characters let us get invested with these characters but they're just not doing that everything just feels rushed we didn't see the form of the justice league i mean there's a lot of stuff we didn't get barely any time with hal jordan's green lantern i mean they, they dusted him spoiler alert they got him up out the way quick as a side character in that green lantern movie i just i don't understand i don't understand i mean it's an animated series animated universe so i'm not i'm not tripping like that but I would have liked for them to just took their time, build up this universe with this animation style and let us get a feel for these characters because I just don't feel a connection with them. But that's all I got to say about this movie. I, like I said, I put them at the bottom of the Tomorrowverse movies, probably that number five or number six. But post comments, let me know what you guys think of this movie. Did you enjoy it? It's all subject to make sure you subscribe to the channel.